So I've been invited here to deliver a quick Taku video on One Punch Man. Initially I obviously declined, but as soon as I got the notification, I suddenly decided that it would be an absolute honour. So here are 10 exciting facts about One Punch Man that you probably didn't know. One Punch Man originally started as a webcomic, published on the mangaka One's own website, Galaxy Heavy Blow, in 2009. When Shonen Jump artist Yusuke Murata found the website, he struck up a deal where Murata would redraw it for Young Jump, whilst One wrote the story and continued his web manga at the same time. The name One Punch Man is a reference to the popular 70s superhero, Anpan Man. All you need to do is change the first character of the name and you get One Pan Man, the Japanese name of the series. Anpan Man's costume and other elements of his design were used for Saitama. The actual continent One Punch Man is set on is based on the prefecture of Japan that One grew up in. This was Saitama Prefecture and you can probably take a good hard guess over where he got the protagonist's name from. When they were deciding on a director for the One Punch Man anime, they decided to ask Space Dandy's director, Shingo Natsuma. In an interview with Yatatachi, Natsuma stated that he made sure to keep in touch with the people he worked with on that show, and he'd ended up making a lot of friends. This is why the staff lists for One Punch Man and Space Dandy are very similar, because he invited all his friends to work on it with him. Following on from that cool fact, this meant that the actual amount of Madhouse staff on the project was very limited. Honestly, off the top of my head, I can only really remember two Madhouse key animators that actually worked on One Punch Man. Since a huge amount of the staff there left around the turn of the decade, Madhouse has had to vastly increase the amount of people they bring in from outside the studio. In fact, since most of the team originally worked on Space Dandy, One Punch Man is more comparable to a Studio Bones show due to much of them being Bones affiliates. In August of 2015, two months before the official air date, the staff held a viewing party and invited their friends and family. The idea was to get a general concept of what the reception to the show would be, as well as giving staff members the opportunity to show those close to them what they had been working on. It's important to mention that there was one very important staff member that never got credited for his work. A large section of the final battle with Boros was animated by the genius animator Yutaka Nakamura, who was actually under contract with Bones. Whilst we're unaware of the details of his contract, the basic premise is that he only works on Studio Bones shows or episodes. To sneak around this rule, he is credited as Yataro Takahashi instead. The character designer and chief animation director of One Punch Man, Kubota Chikashi, is passionate about teaching people about how the industry works. When people praised the show for having a high budget, he clarified on Twitter that the show's budgeting was actually pretty average. This was something I was interested in, so when I collaborated with Yasutachi on their interview with chikashi san I inserted a question prompting him to explain that most anime have about the same budget anyways, and that production is all about the staff. Speaking of staff, One Punch Man released an OVA in December known as Road to Hero. Not only was this episode animated entirely by Death Parade character designer Shinichi Kurita, but the storyboards were drawn up by Yuzuru Tashikawa, the exact person who would go on to direct Mob Psycho 100 a year later. With Mob Psycho 100 being the Magica 1's professional work for Shogakukan, both series ended up getting greenlit for an anime adaptation around the same time coincidentally. When Studio Bones president Masahiko Minami watched One Punch Man, having worked with Shingo Natsuma on Space Dandy, he set out to one-up him with their project, Mob Psycho. Russ, show the Yutaka Nakamura cut. Okay, so uh, yeah, as you can see, they succeeded. Watch Mob Psycho. And those are 10 facts you probably didn't know about One Punch Man. Season 2 of the series has been confirmed with no release date as of yet, and you can learn more in my two-part series breaking down the animation of One Punch Man on the Canapra Effect.